Okay, can't see where we're going. We're going anyway. I got a little bit of freight board back here. Is there? How much? Oh, three or four inches on that side. I think it's working. I can't see a thing. Well, cyclone just passed over Cape York. It's raining. Towing three tonne of boat. Can't turn around, and I think this is this is just very, very stuffed up place to be at the moment. Yeah, any time I've been through here before, mate, there's never been water in water in any of these crossings like this before. So you're saying bone dry? Yeah, bone dry. The only creek crossings one coming up has usually got water in it. That's not a that's not a good sign, mate. Well, hang on, I'll just have to deal with this. <laughs> Don't go where I went. Why? What's there? <laughs> Nasty big hole. Yeah, well, I'm not going to push it hard. I'm just going to try and push through it, really. I don't want to bounce too much because I don't want to rip, rip stuff off. Things are not going as planned here on the Cape Flattery Road. We push on, hoping for the best. But the day's almost over with not much progress. Where are you taking me? There was mud flinging everywhere. It's all over my windscreen. We're hoping for better conditions tomorrow, but even if the rain clears, the road ahead is still going to be covered with water. For now, all we can do is find a clearing to camp the night and wait to see what tomorrow brings. Looks good. Hey guys, today's video is brought to you by the new product from Camp Boss 4x4. Now it's called the Nudie Boss shower tent and it's designed to be convenient and easy to pack up and set up and have a private area where you can get dressed, changed, have a shower, go to the toilet, whatever you want to do. It's awesome, it's easy, check this out. How cool is that? Simple as that guys. So inside, if you have a quick look, you'll notice there is, there's a couple of uh, pouches here to store some stuff, your shower gel or whatever. Up here, have a look at this. So that's where the shower head will come through. Comes with a light. Have a look here. So the switching of the light, we've got white and orange. And this is pretty cool as well. I can put the roof in. A couple of Velcro clips. And I've got a private place where I can either go to toilet, I can do have a shower, all those sorts of things. There she is guys, the nudie boss. Now if you get a chance, go on to Camp Boss 4x4 shop online or check out your local Camp Boss 4x4 dealer. Anyway, back to the adventure. We wake to clearing skies. Finally, the weatherman got it right. Cyclone Zane has moved away. We might be in with a chance yet to reach Cape Flattery, but I've got my doubts. Yeah, you go, mate. You're good, you're good. Yeah, you're good. Yeah. Well, this is Cape York, and we're smack bang in the middle of it. It's one of the wettest places in Australia. Mate, you are telling me the track on the way in, it's the wettest you've seen it. Yeah, I've never seen it that wet coming out here. Well, this is your neck of the woods, mate. What's the track from here to Flattery going to be like? Well, normally it's, it's not too bad. There's water crossings. The deepest one's about bonnet height. But with this, you know, cyclone's just gone through with all the water, I'm thinking maybe windscreen height, so. <laughs> mate, we got three tonne of boats swinging off the back of the trucks. Mm. And I don't know about you, but I think, look, we got the quad bikes off. We're going to have to check it out, aren't we? Yeah. All right, let's go, mate. Let's figure it out. So we decided to scout the track with the ATVs. Well, 
From this point on, there is no turnaround points for the large boat. So if we drive in, there is no going back. Not so bad so far. We might be able to get through here after all. But then, we get to this. You wait there, Simon. I'll go first, eh? Geez, this one looks a bit deep. Oh, I don't think I want to go through there. He's going to get a wet ass. Yeah, he's getting a wet ass. Yuck. Ah, that's a bit deep, mate. You ain't getting through there, Simon. No way. Nah, no, I'm not going through there. I reckon the quad bike would drown in there. Maybe there's a side track. Just have a look. You might be able to take that one, eh? Yeah, I'll go and have a good hit. I reckon I'll get through this first bit, just not that last bit. Go. Oh, baby. Oh, baby. Slow down a bit. Get a bit of traction. I think you're stuck. That's it. We're never going to get a vehicle through there. That's just like soup. It ain't happening, eh? Like that, look, that, that's fine there, but if you... We cut off into this swamp area. Yeah, this just ain't going to happen. You've got to stay on this hard pack stuff. Yeah. Is this the deep one? No. Nah. Oh, hell no. There's normally no water here. This is normally a little bit wet. There's normally no water here. <laughs> <laughs> so there's normally no water here. Nah. Like you say, we'd probably get the cars to here. Yeah. But we've got to get to the beach. Yeah, we've got to get to the beach. All right, let's go, keep go. going, mate. We decide to push on anyway, and sure enough, the next crossing looks even deeper. Is this it, mate? Is this the one? This is it, bud. So this looks like the go, eh? So this is the deep one that went over the bonnet of the old patrol. That's her? Yeah. It looks like it's up a bit, too. All right, well, the only way we're going to test it is if we walk it. There could be crocs in there, mate. Was it you that was telling me that local blokes that go pigging around here? Yep, they reckon every water hole in these sand dunes, there's a resident croc living there. It doesn't even look like croc country. No, well, it doesn't. That's what they said to me. Oh, I've heard it a couple of times now over the years. Oh, I hate that. Well, you know what we're going to have to do, don't you? Let you go 50, first. 50 chance. No, no. 50 <laughs> 50 chance, mate. We're getting close to the coast, too. It's only just over that hill there. Go and get a stick. Make sure you clips off your knife. And I'll push you in front. Thanks, mate. Come on, let's go. <laughs> no, that's deep. Oh, mate, 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 I don't know about that. Yeah, it gets a bit shallow. That's like, just like a big hole, isn't it? Yeah, man. Forget it. Look, it's not, it's not just the water. Quietly, it's not just the water, it's the, it's the trees. I reckon we'll spend half a day just trimming that first section, just trying to get that big boat through. It's so high, it's painful. Hey, Jase, you don't really need to leave without trying to get that buggy through here, are you? Yeah, look, come on, mate, we've got to give her a go. You've got to give it a whirl. Yeah, come on. Come on. Oi, you got to sit in with me. Yeah, let's do it. <laughs> All right, <laughs> jump in, mate. We've got a snorkel. Well, that was a bit of fun in the buggy, it would drown the trucks. We both know what this means. Until this track is dried out, there is no way we get the Cape Flattery. G'day guys, this video is brought to you today by the Boss Shadow 270 XL from Campos 4x4. Today I want to show you the new awning from Campos 4x4. Now this is a 270, so it wraps around 270 degrees and it's a freestanding full A-frame awning. What I'll do is I'll set the thing up and I'll show you how easy it is to set up by yourself. We'll do the back section first. Now I've already got the little hooky things here. Now these have a little ratchet on the end of them. So I just clip that onto the end here, like that. And pretty much you just pull that ratchet, nice and tight. You set the front bit up, same setup, just hook that on the end there, pull your ratchet. Like that, pull it nice and tight. 
multiply that, okay? It's got three LED lights, one in each of the arms. It's got a zipper in the back here. So that zipper is to allow you access to a rooftop tent. And that's pretty much it. Anyway, that's enough from me. Keep checking out the video. A few weeks have passed and we're heading back to Cape Flattery, where a secret fishing spot awaits us. Our first attempt was cut short by wet weather, so we're going to have another crack at it now that the road has dried out. We know the big boat won't make it through the narrow track, so we're leaving it behind for our big push to the beach. Get out of the water, quick free card. Mate, you can't let a track like this stop us. Try and try again. Might get a bit tricky. I reckon getting off the beach is going to be our biggest battle with that trailer. Yeah, getting up that hill will be a bit harsh. We'll do it. See, the thing about this track is we already know. We've already got a good idea of what's going to come up, what's ahead of us, and, well, so to speak, we're ready for it. That water's dropped a fair bit, eh? Yeah, it doesn't take long. We're coming up now to the deepest hole, and I'm hoping to see a lot less water this time. Hey, it's not that shallow. Over the bottom. Shut the window. Finally, we've made it to the cape. It looks like the sort of uh, track mate that gets a fair bit of carnage, eh? Yeah, I've seen cars all bogged along here, the eyeballs have had a trailer on the While this sand blow is easy to go down, it's the trip coming back up that's gonna test us. We head south for the fishing spot an old mate told me about. We finally get to our launch point and start setting up. When out of the blue, a couple of fishermen drop in to see if we can help with a rather delicate medical issue. Well, it seems that old mate has been catching old mate. And not any fish. We'll give you a hand, mate. I'll get them. I'm pretty good at getting these things out. <laughs> so what we'll do first is we'll just cut the uh, the other bits off so we can get your shirt off and we can yeah. have a look at it. Right. All righty. Just come down over to me uh, surgery. And there's the bit. So the trick is, this is, you can do it two ways. <laughs> <laughs> I can feed it through, but I have to make an incision to bring the barb back, the hook back out. All right, because you won't, the skin is too tough to try and use a pair of pliers. I have to make a small incision. I've got some surgical blades in there. I make that incision, we pop it through, and then the whole hook just comes out. You just have two holes and it's no problem. Failing that, we wrap fishing line around it and we hold it with the pliers and we go one, two, three, bang. A new holler and it's all good. Strangely <laughs> enough, he goes for option one. It pays to have a good, a very good medical kit when you're in remote locations for a situation just like this one. Hold him, sorry mate. Sorry. You can do it man. Oh, well done. Yeah, there you go mate. Oh, you brave son of a bitch. Have you got some tears to my eye. Yeah, 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 just hold on. Well, that was a big, big barb on that hook. You boys would have been walking around with a treble in your back for a few days, eh? I might be watching my back a little while. It's a long way from the um, the doctor here. It is. <laughs> Poor bugger. You did well, mate. At the start. Cheers, guys. No worries, mate. Thanks, mate. No worries. Back Thanks, to yeah, fishing. Yeah. yeah, mate. Souvenir for you. Thanks a lot. It's a good one, eh? That is nasty. That's very nasty. And they're good hooks too. They don't yeah, bend. Nice. Another happy customer from the Alfred Venture Day Surgery. She was in. She was <laughs> in up to there. Time for us now get back to fishing. I spoke to a guy, I don't know, would have been two years back now. 
old mate I knew, and he said there was a billabong. And I had a look on the on the map, and I could see there was a billabong where he where he said there would be one. And he said this thing had barra in it, on tap. Now. I was a bit sceptical about it and I kept it in the back of my head for a couple of years and then I came up with this ingenious plan to get there because the biggest problem getting there was he said he walked in there and he walked for days to get in there. We haven't got days to be walking in there. He said, the problem is it's this river behind you and you can't get across this river. Now if you can get across the river and you can get a buggy in there, which we've got, we've got both, boat and buggy, then we can get into this billabong. So here's the plan. Those two tinnies, we're gonna join them together with those ramps. We're gonna put that buggy on top and we're gonna go across that river. Cause we're lazy and we don't like to walk too far. That sounds like a plan. Not for days anyway. to hold my foot on the brake. Okay, can't see where we're going. We'll go anyway. I got a little bit of freight board back here. Is there? How much? Oh, three or four inches on that side. I think it's working. I can't see a thing. Down around that corner there, see that spot? Yep. That beach? There's half a ton, half a ton of buggy sitting on here, plus the weight of me, Simon. I got the outboard, I got a bit of fuel. And I've got the weight of the cameraman and his camera. So there's a good 700 kilos. Plus all the it's... dirt, I reckon there's 800. <laughs> Probably around that edge there, mate. Be the go. Yeah, you're good. Straight back, dude. Yep, you're good. Good, 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 good. <laughs> We're on our way. Or are we? How are we going to get up that? This is our first obstacle. Um, we ain't got a shovel, have we? No. What if I get the max tracks? Yeah. We'll make a little ramp, and you get your front up there, and you'll dig a bit of that off with your front wheels. Yeah. And then we'll eh, 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 get up there. You probably need to get up there. Oh, yeah, good go. That's gold. No, Just come back a bit, and I'll put these under you. Low gear, Poof. don't even hesitate, hit it. it nah, it won't, you go straight up. Just hit it, go. go. <laughs> Maybe not. Lucky it's not hard dirt. <laughs> We set out cross-country, travelling by GPS, heading for our mate spot. But when we get there, we're in for a surprise. Map mate, it's looking a bit shallow. Ah, oh, this is it. Did old mate give you the time of year when it's meant to be its best? Um, he didn't. No. I bet he meant just after the wet. Oh look, it's quite possibly a couple of weeks ago. This could be full. You can see where the water's meant to be way up there. Look. Did your buddy say if there's any crocs in here? No, he didn't say anything about any crocs. Well, sometimes you can put in a lot of effort for minimal reward, but I guess it's all part of the adventure. Getting the boat, joining them together and getting this across the river worked out quite well. The payoff, well, it just didn't happen. But it was fun. Yeah, it was well and truly fun. Anyway, we got to get... Except for when you went through the green ants nest and covered us in green ants. And spider. That wasn't any fun. No. All right, well, we've got to get this gear back, mate, so... Let's go bush bashing. Let's get back into the bush, eh? Bugger. So 
So it's back to the tinnies, cross over again. On the way, we spot some coconut palms and stop for a look. A long way up there, mate. How are we going to get that? Well, you might have to climb the tree, monkey boy. <laughs> so, still so stand around talking about it. Get your ass up there. Told you he was like a monkey. <laughs> Shit, I'm impressed. You pick one, mate, and lob her on down. Oi, there's a snake in here. Oh, there is, Mel. There is so. You're shitting me. There's a snake. What sort? Oh, he's just a carpet snake. <laughs> a little fella. Just hold on. There's snakes everywhere we seem to go. Oh, there he is. You ready? Drag him down. Here, have a coconut. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> oh, hey, little fella. What are you do? He's a little carpet snake. I'll be bugging. Got a new pet. All right, coconut's coming down. Is that enough? Oh, I think that'll probably do, eh? All right, here's a knife coming down. You all right, mate? <laughs> oh. <laughs> Look at this little boy. Look at that. Well, there you go. He's up in the coconut tree, obviously chasing something up there. I reckon rats and mice would get up there after the after the possum oh. has opened up the coconuts. Well, he'd, he'd truly, be, mate. He'd be after him. He'd be sitting up there and that'd be a prime feed for him. So it's a little carpet snake. There you go. Oh, let's pop one of these coconuts out. And that's what we're looking for. That juice. Now, this thing is absolutely chock-a-block with that. Now, there would be, I reckon, half a litre of liquid in there. So you imagine, if you're a shipwrecked sailor and you come across this, this would be your saviour. And it is gold. Pretty good, aren't they? And with that, we're done with Cape Flattery. But before we head back, we have to get over the steep sand cutting that stands between us and the way back. The adventure is far from over. Introducing the new and improved home of Australian adventure, Unleashed TV. A growing library of content featuring the best of yeah. all wheel driving, woo, fishing, woo. touring, wood builds, bush cooking, and whatever you call this. Stream entire seasons of the hit TV show All for Adventure, Unleashed, and more original series from Jason the team. Plus, get fresh new content exclusive to Unleashed TV subscribers. You can stream it all for just $9.99 per month. Now, with no lock-in contract. That's why Unleashed TV is the home of Australian adventure. <laughs>